Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. Today's topic is about traveling to Japan, the documents that you will need. Of course, you will need a valid passport. And once you're in the plane, you're going to need two important forms. One is the disembarkation form for foreigners and the Japan customs form. I'll explain those in a moment. Depending on the carrier that you're flying with, you should be handed these forms after you depart, so sometime in the air. You are looking at the new disembarkation card for foreign nationals. It's a little card that you need to fill out. Once you get it, fill it out in the plane. Don't wait to the end. Let's just say that you don't fill it out for some reason. Once you get off the plane, you'll be fidgeting for those important forms. If you're lining up in front of the immigration booth without your cards, you're going to have to leave the line, fill out those cards, and line up again. This portion of the card is the front. It says arrival, and this is what the immigration officer will take. You need to write your family name, your given name, your date of birth, day, month, year, and your home address. So in the country name, write the name of the country you're from and the city. Then purpose of visit. Tick one of the boxes, tourism, business, visiting relatives, other. Then write your last flight vessel and your intended stay in Japan. Under intended address in Japan, if you're staying at a hotel, write the name of the hotel and the address. Now for the most important part of this card, these three questions. Because these three questions will determine your admission to Japan. And finally, sign it. Now let's look at the customs declaration card. Date of arrival in Japan. Flight number. Name of vessel. All that information is on your boarding card. Year, month, day. Number of dependents, adult, under 20 years old. Write the number of alcoholic beverages you're bringing, tobacco products, perfume, others, if any. Looking at question number five, do you have any unaccompanied articles? Yes or no? And how did you send them? By vessel, by air, by mail, and how many of each? And one more thing, don't forget to write the market value for expensive items such as handbags and jewelry. And this concludes my video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your stay in Japan.